Hey everybody and welcome to the Mental Toughness and Body Show. My name is Rob Evans and I'm your weight loss coach, health strategist and internationally published author, helping take your life, your business, your health and fitness and body, and best of all, your mindset from where you are right now to where it is that you truly want to be. And today, I want to talk to you about 2020 outcomes versus 2021. In other words, I want you, before this year ends, we've got, to the date of recording this, there's 20 days to go before Christmas. So we have essentially 26 days before the end of this calendar year. And what a hell of a year it has been in so many different ways and still is being that hell of a year depending on where you are, how you are coping in the world with the COVID, with lockdowns and so forth. Um, what's really interesting uh, for me sitting here in uh, Melbourne, Australia and just observing what's going on around the world, I mean, there's no other state in Australia that has gone through what we've gone through in Victoria, being shut down for seven and a half months in total, and seeing the rest of Australia and the rest of the world kind of open, uh, but now we are getting back into a normal swing of things. We have zero cases. We've had zero cases for over a month, but from next week, we're starting the whole uh, hotel quarantine um, situation again where we're taking international flights, the first international flights coming back into Melbourne in uh, a very, very long time. And so it could all quickly unravel for us again if they mess this up like they did last time. Uh, but there are many countries now that are, are, are going into lockdown, going through a crisis situation and your lives have been really, uh, really affected. And my heart goes out to you because I know what that feels like. But here's the thing, before this year ends, I really want you to do, I've got seven things that I want you to do here. And the first thing is, is what were your outcomes in 2020? What happened for you in 2020? Now, where is the value in doing this exercise? Well, I think as humans, we don't often stop and reflect on what it is that we've done. I mean, if I look at the things that, <clears throat> pardon me, I've achieved during the two lockdowns, then I'm quite amazed at how focused I was, what I was able to achieve, how much I was able to get done in that period of time when like really in the normal running of my business, that probably would have taken me years to do. And some things I may not have even gotten to because my mind wasn't in that space. So <clears throat> we've accomplished a lot. So why is that valuable? Well, for me, it works like this. I, for a very long time in my childhood, even into um, you know, like a young adult, I had a lot of self-confidence issues. I had a lot of body, ima uh, body image issues and I had a, a quite a lot of self-doubt in my ability to be good at anything. And so when you don't have that person that's coming along for that ride with you and say your coach or whatever it is and say, yeah, you're doing a good job or this is where you need to change or whatever and it's all left up to you and those conversations that you're left alone with, uh, then that can be quite harsh. And of course, I used to beat myself up quite a bit. So uh, what I find now is that I do have a strong level of self-confidence in what I do. I'm good at what I do. Uh, you know, I'm I'm getting better all the time at the things that I do in all areas of my life. But I think when we don't stop and look back sometimes and we only just focus on moving forward, if you can just stop and you just turn around and you look back and you capture all the things that you have done this year that have helped you uh, grow the opportunities that you've taken. I'm going to run you through a whole a bunch of these things. But... Um, when you do that and you can stop back and look back and then you can say, wow, do you know what? I've actually done way more than I thought I could have this year. That makes me feel proud. Now, where is the goodness in that? Well, I think it's important to recognise when you work hard, like I work 16-hour days, I put in a long, long time into my work. I work weekends as well. And I, I don't expect applause or accolades for that, but I think if you didn't look back and acknowledge the fact that, wow, these are all the outcomes that you have achieved, 
Well, it says two things. Firstly, great job on the things that you have done. And what does that do? Well, that provides you with momentum and impetus to keep on moving forward. And isn't that exciting? Because you can work on that next thing. But imagine you did the reverse and you said, well, I'm not, I'm not achieving, I'm doing a hopeless job, this is too hard, I should give up, maybe I should go do something else, etc., etc." then you're beating yourself up and you're wearing yourself down and that doesn't put you in a good position to move forward. Now also, well, I'll, I'll save that next point actually, but I, uh, because I've, I'm mentioning it down in, in a second. But I think it's really, really important to capture all the big things that you've done this year. Write them down because we forget and we just keep focusing on the future and I think it's important to stop and reflect. And today's podcast is all about that, looking at what were our outcomes in 2020. Write them all down. Then the second thing I want you to do is say, well, you've got all those, those things that you, you did. Now, what did you plan to do versus what you actually did? I want you to consider that as well. So for instance, none of us in January would have taken into account a global pandemic affecting us in the way that it has. It just wouldn't have been on our radar at all. So for me, my goals were to achieve a certain dollar value budget each month in my business. And it was a number that I set that I have never achieved before. And now when I look back and say, not only have I achieved that, there were some months where I more than doubled it. And it's like, holy crap, see what happens when you focus on something different. And I'd never done it that, that way before. And I said to myself this year, 2020 is my year because the prior couple of years before that, man, was it tough. I mean, I, I lost my dad. I, I went through a relationship where there was family violence involved from um, my partner's ex uh, partner, um, the the toll that that took on uh, you know our relationship that it took on me personally, it took on my children, um, the impact of my dad passing away and me having to take care of uh, his estate and him living like two and a half hours one way away from me and having to sell his house, clean out his house, and do all that kind of stuff, arrange for him to go into a home. Um, then having him pass away and dealing with doctors and hospitals and all of that kind of stuff and still trying to run my business, grow my business. Uh, it, it's, it was hard. It was you know, one of the toughest times in, in my life. And so I said, 2020, I said, this year is my year. Not only am I going to get the best looking, healthiest body that I've ever had, but this is what I'm going to do for my business. These are targets that I'm setting that I have never set before. Why? Because I've probably been too, uh, too afraid to say, well, let's aim for this. And I did. I've achieved it. Now, we hit March and I didn't know what the heck was going to happen because it's like, wow, we've been forced to shut our business and change our model completely. So, okay, let's do it. And let's keep moving forward and let's just change your thinking and do all these other things. So if I look at what I plan to do this year versus what I've actually achieved, then I have achieved way more than I thought was possible and all in the face of a global pandemic. And if you go back and listen to a, an earlier podcast, it's I, oh gosh, now it may not be on the Mental Toughness and Body Show. I think it is. If it's not, it's on Rob Evans 365. And I asked the question, If you, knowing what you know now about COVID, you had a choice to now say, go back in time and say, I will go through COVID again, or you could say, no, I won't. And I'm going to go down the path that I originally planned to achieve for myself for 2021, uh, for 2020. I said, so you, you decide quickly. I said, I would absolutely go through COVID again because I discovered things about me that I always thought were there, but until you're really tested with something, how do you really know what you're truly capable of? The answer is you don't. So 
I don't think that we get many opportunities in our lifetime to face harsh, harsh adversity. But when that opportunity comes, I see it as exactly that. This is an opportunity to reach out and grab it and say, this is what is going to help define me. This is going to prove that I am as tough as I think I am or tougher. Test yourself. Step into the fear. Step into the uncertainty. Step into the challenge and see what you're truly capable of. So um, capture all those things. What you wanted to do, what were your outcomes, what did you plan to do this year and compare those two things. Step number three is how did you grow this year? And I want you to write these things down. So I think this is really, really important for us to continuously grow and capture these things. Imagine if someone in your family, your kids or your great grandchildren or something one day pick up this journal or these notes or this recording of yours and say, wow, remember that global pandemic? I wonder how grandpa, grandma, great, great grandma, grandpa um, coped through that time. What were they doing? I mean, wouldn't you love to know how your um, you know, relatives from the past coped with the Spanish flu, coped with World War I, just got through World War I, the Spanish flu, and you know, 15, 20 years later, holy crap, it's World War II. And they last for four years, not just a number of months for, for us here with the, and COVID's by no means gone. They're talking about the, the vaccines. I, mean, I think next Tuesday, the UK is going to start injecting um, people. Um, they're worried that um, perhaps things are going too quickly in that space. Uh, but imagine just having that knowledge to know all those things. So I want you to capture what it is that you've learned about yourself, how you think you've grown. Uh, really powerful. Number four, what opportunities did you take this year? And some of those will be what you plan, the opportunities that you plan to take, and then what did you actually do? I mean, there were opportunities that came up this year that I would never conceive would have been there. For instance, uh, providing stream services around the world now is just something that everybody is just used to. But for me, in the past, my thinking was limited to some of the physical things that I do with clients that they needed to come to me. So why even bother marketing anywhere outside my, uh, essentially, 15 kilometres from where I live? But you could be living 15,000 kilometres from where I live, and if you've got an internet connection, then we can still work out together quite powerfully, like I can coach um, together quite powerfully. Uh, to me, that, that's really exciting. So again, capture this stuff. What did you do? There is, if you do all these seven steps, trust me, there is learning, there is um, growth, there is celebration, um, perhaps there's some disappointment in here, but um, it's all about taking you to the next level, all about, all about growing. So step number five, I want you to look at what are your plans for 2021? Knowing everything that you know about 2020, and it's going to be different perhaps wherever you are in the world. Like we can't travel internationally at the moment. Will we be able to travel internationally by the end of next year? I don't know. I mean, normally this time of the year, I should have been in Los Angeles, uh, meeting with people all around the world, having a fantastic time, meeting celebrities, doing all that kind of stuff. And right now, I would, well, actually, that would have been last week. And in another 20 days, I would have been jumping, well, no, it would have been before that, a few days before that, jumping on a plane with my two uh, two girls and flying to LA again and going to Disneyland for Christmas, spending Christmas Day at Disneyland. 
Now, I'm thinking that it probably will be 2022 before we do that uh, because I just can't see it, uh, us being able to travel uh, so, um, you know, the way that we want to next year. But let's just see what happens with the virus in the US and, and everywhere. But um, I want you to, to think about what are your plans for 2021? What are you going to do? Now, I have, I've done part of this exercise myself for 2021. Uh, but I need to do this before the end of the year to say, okay, what am I planning to do for 2021? Step number six, this is an exciting one. I want you to write down, you can, I'm, I've said 10 here, but 10 or more, 10 people that you really want to connect with in 2021. So I'm talking about high level people here that you want to connect with. Maybe it's people in your field, maybe it's um, just people that, um, uh, you know, you, you just have a curiosity about them. Maybe it's a celebrity. Um, whatever it is, I want you to write down that list of people and then you can work out an action plan. So how are you going to do that? What are you going to do? How are you going to get to that person? Whether you're going to get them on like this show, uh, your podcast, or are you going to um, do something else with them? How are you going to do it? Write it down. That's number six. And number seven, I want you to consider what are the opportunities that you missed in 2020. Now, there's a bunch that I didn't think existed that came up in 2020 and I took them. Are there opportunities that I haven't taken in 2020? I would say yes, there are. But until I probably sit down and, and go through that in detail, there's a couple that come to mind immediately that I think, yeah, there was some opportunity there. Well, there was opportunity there and I haven't yet taken it. Why haven't I taken it? Well, I'm not sure whether it's a good fit for me or not. So what I also want you to consider is, so what opportunities will you take in 2021 that you didn't take in 2020 and what new opportunities are there going to be in 2021? Depending on your industry, depending on where you are in the world and what's going on with COVID may determine what it is that you're going to do. For some of you listening to this right now, it might be going into another area of business altogether. It might be creating another product line, another service. It could be just changing industry altogether because you're beating a dead horse kind of thing. The bottom line here is that there are opportunities for all of us. And I'm sure there are some that you didn't take this year, maybe rightly, maybe wrongly. But are there some that you didn't take this year that you should be taking in 2021? And what are those new ones that you can be taking in 2021? This is a really great exercise for you to do. I'm going to make sure that I fully complete this before the end of this year because I think there's a lot of value in it. I'm going to be uh, recording a podcast before the end of the year discussing the, the various outcomes that I've achieved um, through this year and um, looking for uh, what, the, what the opportunities are that I'm going to be taking in, um, in 2021. This is an exciting process. We've gotten to the end of this year and in some ways, it feels like it's a different year. I was saying to the kids this year, about today actually, uh, about setting up the Christmas tree. I said, do you feel like setting up the Christmas tree? Because I don't. And I didn't want to influence them and they said, no, not really. And I said, yeah, no, either do I. Because it's just been such a, a weird year. But I said, look, I don't think, we don't want COVID to win. So let's still decorate the house. We'll probably put up the lights outside uh, tomorrow. We put out, you know, decorations and stuff. We haven't physically put up a tree, but we put up a bunch of decorations around the place so that it still feels Christmassy and put out their stockings and, and that kind of stuff. Um, but it, um, it really has been a, a funny year and we're getting to the end of it. And even though it feels like, okay, this year is ending, so surely 2021... Yeah, I'm kind of getting the feeling here that 2021 is starting and people will start and people think, okay, COVID's done, but it's not, it's still here. 
It's still here. And who knows what will happen in 2021. I mean, they're talking here about um, huge weather events, for instance, like at the start of this year. I mean, the, the year has been so long in some ways, but so short in others. It seems uh, almost years ago that the bushfires were here in um, December last year in January, and they talked about half a billion species of uh, you know, animals being uh, wiped out uh, in Australia, um, the, the biggest bushfires we've, uh, we've had in, in a very long time. And they're talking about having, or like last week across Australia, we've had massive heat waves. Um, the area near where I live, um, the, the last time they had uh, a severe bushfire uh, up there was over 40 years ago. Now it's about 40 years ago. And every summer you think, man, is this the year? Is this the year it's going to happen? Um, so we just never know what's going to happen. And you can't plan for everything, uh, but um, you can certainly uh, do your best. So do this exercise, have fun with it, and make sure that you do celebrate in the process because, wow, I don't think we celebrate enough to ourselves inside about the great work that we do do. And that's not to, to celebrate every day uh, about it for a long period of time, but it's important to recognize that, you know what, I'm working hard I've gotten this result. That's great work. Celebrate in your own way. What's next? Take action. Keep moving. Have a great day wherever you are. Stay safe, please. I'll see you tomorrow.